I guess uh, that's it. And uh, Victor, you can, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, just I would like to share my screen uh, with the presentation. Uh, I think it would be this one. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, I hope that you you see uh, this uh, uh, introducing screen. So uh, welcome uh, everybody uh, uh, in this um, introductory. Uh, um, session uh, for the future uh, uh, stipend in Hungary of students uh, to the uh, Faculty of Earth Science and Engineering, uh, uh, which uh, uh, we represent uh, here and, and, and we will uh, introduce you uh, shortly. Uh, so the faculty uh, has a long history and as uh, in the, its logo, it's also uh, mentioned that uh, the, 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 the roots uh, are back to 1735, which was uh, something uh, uh, nearly already uh, 300 years ago. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the current device uh, or uh, for the uh, for the faculty is uh, that we are uh, offering engineering solutions uh, for the uh, for the whole sustainable planet uh, uh, of uh, of the Earth where where we live where we are living. So uh, first, uh, perhaps not all all of you know still that where Mishkot is. Uh, so this uh, uh, page is uh, about this. Uh, so the Hungary uh, uh, is here, uh, you can see in this uh, geographical map. Uh, and uh, probably all of you know uh, that uh, in the heart of the uh, country, there is uh, Budapest, the capital city. Uh, and uh, Miskolc is here in the bit northeast, uh, some 200 kilometers from, uh, from Budapest. Uh, and it's also important to mention that uh, there are two uh, uh, air uh, ports, uh, which are uh, relatively close uh, to, to Mishkolc, so it, to, to approach uh, and uh, to reach Mishkolc, uh, it's also uh, it's not so difficult uh, even by plane. Uh, so one is the Budapest airport, uh, and the other one is the Debrecen airport, which uh, in normal times, so not 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 now, but in normal times, it also already has quite good uh, flight connections to to several uh, European uh, cities. So this is 20, 200 kilometers from from Budapest. It means that two two hours by by train uh, or by car, and uh, uh, this is the fourth largest city uh, in uh, in Hungary. Uh, currently, uh, the uh, citizens is something uh, around uh, one uh, one hundred fifty thousand. And uh, uh, especially in the 20th century, uh, it was a, uh, um, a important uh, city of Hungary for the heavy industry, uh, uh, having metallurgical plants, uh, uh, also uh, the headquarters uh, of different uh, uh, mining uh, 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 companies and, uh, and, uh, and, and other uh, uh, industrial uh, plants. Uh, uh, it has been strongly changed uh, in the last uh, uh, 30 years. Uh, however, it still remained as a, a highly important uh, uh, industrial city uh, uh, for, uh, for, for all uh, uh, Hungary, uh, but also uh, uh, its profile is uh, currently it's more about the education and culture. Uh, center uh, of the northeastern part of uh, uh, of Hungary. Uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an interesting fact, uh, I also uh, uh, was informed about this last, uh, practically a year ago, uh, that here uh, in Miskolc we have one of the, the largest uh, uh, assembly plant uh, for uh, engine, uh, for, for car uh, starter engines uh, in the world. So this is, uh, it was also uh, 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 interesting for me that, uh, that we here in Mishkos have uh, such an important uh, uh, plant uh, concerning the, the car starting engines, uh, which is practically the, 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 the largest in the world. So uh, the university itself, uh, uh, this is the main entrance of the university. Uh, 
uh, and as I told uh, that the, um, uh, the, the history is back uh, to, to 1735, uh, uh, but it was still not in, in Mishkolz, uh, it was in another uh, uh, small uh, but very nice city, uh, which is currently uh, uh, located in, uh, in uh, Slovakia, Central Slovakia. Uh, but in the last 70 years, uh, the university has been settled uh, already here in Miškolc, and, uh, and we, we are providing this uh, the, the education here uh, <clears throat> from this uh, uh, nice place. Uh, uh, only I would like to uh, mention from this uh, uh, long history, uh, which started in 1735 uh, in Chemnitz uh, uh, the German name was Chemnitz. Uh, that time and uh, education has been started uh, uh, in English, oh, sorry, in, uh, in, in uh, German, uh, as it was the mining academy uh, for the whole Austro-Hungarian Empire. Uh, that time, uh, and uh, uh, with this date uh, and uh, with this profile uh, uh, of this uh, institution, which has been founded in uh, Uh, uh that time it was the first higher education uh, institution for technical uh, disciplines, for technical sciences in the world. Uh, so it was the the, the first. Uh, uh, this uh, higher education institution uh, for for engineering uh, disciplines, uh, and we are very very proud of this uh, part. Uh, well, and later in the uh, seventeen sixty two, uh, it was uh, uh, re-established or promoted uh, to a mining academy uh, uh, for, from this mine from this, uh, this mining school. Uh, and after the First World War, uh, it has been relocated uh, to a, a, another Hungarian uh, city, uh, Sopron. Uh, and uh, after the Second World War, uh, it was uh, gradually relocated from, from Sopron, uh, uh, partly to Miskolc. So uh, again, this is the Carpathian Basin. It's a very, it's a very nice uh, geographical map. Uh, and the Shelmet uh, Banya, it is in, in central Slovakia. Um, and from this point, uh, the uh, uh, academy was relocated to Sopron, and from Sopron uh, uh, back to uh, later to Miskot. Uh, and uh, because of this uh, long history, uh, that uh, our faculty and also the, the whole university. Uh, has interesting uh, mining uh, traditions and interesting mining student traditions, which are very special uh, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for our uh, university uh, compared to other uh, Hungarian uh, higher uh, education institutions, which is, also, which is also an interesting and nice specialty uh, of Miskolc uh, and the University of Miskolc. Uh, concerning uh, focusing on the uh, on the mission uh, of the faculty, uh, if we can uh, tell it to one uh, one sentence, uh, then this is that of course uh, we are doing education and research uh, for the sustainable natural resources utilization. So this uh, utilization of uh, sorry sustainable utilization of natural resources. Uh, this is the. And this is the more, focus, the more the focus point uh, of our uh, activity, uh, and uh, it means uh, uh, also to to ex the exploration and production of mineral resources, different kind of mineral resources from the earth. Uh, it means also the petroleum uh, uh, exploration and production, which is also highly important. Uh, and the, the, the water uh, uh, exploration and production, especially focusing on groundwater uh, resources, which is also uh, a big, uh, a very big challenge uh, globally uh, for, for, for all countries uh, of the world, uh, mentioning only, for example, the, uh, this uh, uh, climate change issues. Uh, it, it, it is clear that the, uh, the groundwater exploration uh, and production, it's, it's a highly important issue uh, for, for, for all of uh, the countries. And uh, uh, for the sustainability, uh, uh, the, uh, 
uh, reuse uh, and recycling of uh, waste streams uh, uh, is also uh, a crucial uh, point uh, and, uh, and, the, and the, uh, a highly important issue. Uh, so this is, the, I would say, the, the, the fourth uh, uh, line uh, of, of, our, of our research uh, and education. Uh, and all these cover uh, the, um, uh, this uh, natural resource utilization. Uh, and uh, uh, on the top of that, uh, uh, so uh, we are interrelated. Uh, uh, so these disciplines, what I've mentioned now, uh, these are interrelated uh, uh, with uh, the environment uh, and also with some uh, modern uh, and, uh, and high-end uh, methods uh, of um, uh, surveying uh, and exploration uh, which uh, so all these these are interrelated and covered uh, by the different uh, activities uh, uh, of the faculty uh, as you can see uh, it from these uh, uh, bird clouds uh, uh, that uh, the earth science engineering uh, related disciplines uh, uh, are the main focus but also the uh, the sustainability related and environmental uh, environment related uh, issues are also uh, highly co uh, strongly connected and, uh, and, and important uh, for us. So uh, the master programs uh, which are running and uh, which are we offering uh, in English uh, for uh, Hungarian students and also for uh, uh for, for international students so in in most of these uh, programs uh, the, the the international students are studying together uh, uh with, with, with with hungarian students as well uh, in these groups uh, so these are those five uh, uh programs uh, which are offered which are we uh, which we are offering uh this is the uh, earth science engineering master program uh, which is for the uh, exploration uh, of uh, uh, different kind of mineral resources uh, from geological and uh, geophysical uh, methods and point of view. The environmental engineering, uh, which uh, uh, has two specializations, uh, are uh, two different uh, specializations. Uh, I will uh, tell it uh, a bit later. Uh, also, the hydrogeology engineering, uh, as I mentioned, for the underground uh, water resource uh, uh, exploration and production, and two uh, master programs for the petroleum uh, uh, industry. One is uh, the petroleum geoengineering, which is more focusing on the uh, on the upstream. Uh, or the, the the most upstream part is the the, the petroleum exploration uh, uh, side, and the other one is the the, the also the upstream part uh, of the petroleum industry, uh, but uh, focusing on the on the production uh, of uh, petroleum resources is the petroleum engineering master program. So uh, the earth science engineering, uh, a few words about this, uh, each of these master programs. And here you can see the, uh, sorry, here you can see the, um, and this, uh, uh, what, what is the name of this? Uh, QR code, uh, of, of this QR code, uh, uh, and uh, using this QR code, you can reach directly uh, uh, the, the homepage where all the necessary information concerning the curriculum, concerning the course descriptions, uh, you can find uh, in detail. So uh, concerning the Earth Science Engineering Master Program, uh, we have two uh, uh, specializations. One is the geological engineering, and the other one is the geophysical engineering. Uh, and uh, uh, so both of them are focusing on, on the, the mineral resource exploration. Uh, with uh, modern uh, methods, uh, uh, as you can see here in this uh, in this short video, uh, it is uh, uh, in includes also uh, some uh, some uh, methods uh, of exploration and prospecting, uh, as well as the 3D modeling uh, uh, and combining the geological mapping with uh, geochemical uh, and analytical methods. Uh, and uh, combine all the, this together, uh, and this uh, to, for the, uh, the focusing 
on the mineral resource uh, exploration from, with geological, uh, geochemical uh, tools and methods, and uh, similar, and, uh, and it is uh, uh, complemented uh, by geophysical uh, exploration methods. Uh, first of all, focusing on the on the seismic uh, um, uh, interpretation and also on, on the inversion uh, methods, which is a specialty uh, of our uh, geophysical uh, department, uh, and, and also the, the the big data management uh, and the, geo, uh, the statistical uh, uh, evaluation of this uh, large amount of of uh, geophysical data uh, it also uh, makes an important part uh, of this uh, of this program uh, so uh, if you are interested in the the mineral resource uh, uh, prospecting and uh, uh, and exploration uh, whether with geophysical whether with geological uh, uh, profile uh, then then this this program is in, uh, important for you uh, one example what uh, uh, also uh, is uh, supplementing uh, uh, this uh, our research uh, and education is uh, one research program under the name of UNEXMIN. Uh, uh, this uh, program uh, is uh, still uh, going on, uh, and the main issue for this is to make uh, to, uh, produce uh, an autonomous uh, robot, uh, this uh, spherical robot. Uh, what you can see here in the picture, uh, which a robot uh, is uh, uh, autonomously uh, can move uh, in those places, uh, in those uh, uh, under, uh, flooded uh, underground mines, uh, which uh, uh, can be re-explored uh, again, which uh, has been mined some, uh, some several decades or even uh, several centuries before. Uh, and now uh, they can be uh, re-explored re uh, using these uh, the, the, these robotic uh, equipments, uh, and we are proud of it that, uh, that the coordinator for this uh, UNEXMIN project this is the uh, uh, the University of Miskolc, uh, but this is a, a large large European uh, project. The uh, other uh, master program is the hydrogeology engineering program. Uh, which is focusing on the uh, groundwater resource uh, exploration and also the water supply. So uh, it is especially for uh, for for developing countries uh, the uh, the water resource uh, management uh, and uh, the water supply as uh, a as a highly important and, uh, and crucial um, uh, critical issue. Uh, now and it would be even uh, uh, the same or even uh, more important uh, in the future. So uh, one uh, um, part and the, the, mo the, the most part of this uh, hydrogeology engineering program focuses on this groundwater resources exploration. Uh, on the other hand, it also uh, uh, have some disciplines in uh, in the engineering geology, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, close to uh, to civil engineering. So it is geotechnical engineering and environmental geotechnics. Uh, these are also <coughs> where uh, the hydrogeologists will be specialized. Uh, the third one, uh, the third program is the environmental engineering master program. And uh, it has uh, it is more uh, an environmental uh, uh, engineering program focusing uh, on the issues uh, related to the uh, also to the to the earth uh, and earth sciences. Uh, and one specialization of for this environmental engineering program uh, is how to remediate uh, some contaminated uh, lands. Uh, whether on the surface or, or under the surface. Uh, and these are the most important uh, um, uh, these disciplines or, or, or courses which are uh, taught uh, within uh, the, this uh, specialization. Uh, so uh, this uh, en environment engineer will be specialized uh, for those um, kind of uh, um, uh, disciplines. And the other one uh, is also uh, highly uh, important now and will be even more 
uh, per perspective in the future is to uh, recycle the, the different kind of waste streams. Uh, uh, so the, this waste management specialization, it is focusing on recycling. Uh, so if you think uh, uh, that, uh, that the recycling uh, uh, is a big business uh, and it will uh, it will be really really a big and important business in the future uh, because let's say that electronic waste uh, or the processing and reprocessing of electronic waste is a, is a, is a, is a very important uh, issue now and also in the future or the plastic uh, uh, recycling of plastic materials or papers uh, so then, then uh, this uh, environmental engineering program uh, gives uh, very good opportunities for you. Uh, one, uh, I would like to mention that there is one um, triple degree master program, an international master program where uh, we are participating uh, uh, with our environmental uh, engineering master uh, program. This is the this so-called this enter international program, uh, international master of uh, science in engineering, entrepreneurship and resources. Uh, uh, this program is uh, uh, supplied uh, or supported by the uh, EIT raw materials. It's a European wide uh, program. And uh, within that, uh, uh, the students are starting uh, their uh, studies at the home university, like uh, in our case in Nishkolz. Then they spend one semester in Lappenranta in Finland, uh, and then they uh, later for the third semester they go to the uh, Freiberg uh, Mining Academy, uh, and then they return back to Nishkolz uh, to make the uh, the last semester. And uh, this triple degree program is focusing on the. Uh, uh, process engineering, uh, also related to to, to waste uh, recycling, by the way, related to waste recycling, and also uh, with a with a specific focus on the ma maintenance uh, engineering uh, for uh, the resources industry. So, as I told, the two uh, more programs are focusing on the petroleum uh, uh, industry. The petroleum engineering is a, a master program, is a standard petroleum uh, engineering master program, as uh, you can see similar ones uh, uh, in the U.S. Uh, uh, universities, uh, uh, leading uh, leading U.S. universities, uh, and. Uh, uh, classically, it has these three uh, legs. Uh, one is the drilling engineering, the second one is the production engineering, and the third one is the reservoir engineering, uh, which are the three most important uh, these, uh, topics within, uh, within the, the petroleum engineering uh, this discipline in general. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, it is also supplemented by geothermics, uh, uh, which is an interesting um, uh, uh, topic also today and uh, and for the uh, for the future uh, and uh, uh, all these uh, courses are supplemented with with strong uh, computer applications and and model, uh, computer modeling tools as well. Okay, well, and the the, the fifth uh, program is the petroleum geoengineering, uh, which is the the prospecting and exploration of uh, uh, hydrocarbon resources, uh, and uh, here uh, you uh, can study uh, the uh, petroleum uh, geology related courses uh, uh, and also uh, the geophysical, uh, petroleum ge uh, geophysics related courses like seismic survey uh, and petrophysics <coughs> uh, or well logging uh, type of. Uh, uh, Disciplines uh, and uh, uh, it will, uh, and also uh, a third important part is uh, how to uh, complete the uh, this uh, petroleum exploration uh, uh, and how to complete and manage uh, these petroleum exploration uh, works. Uh, so the management and economics uh, of these uh, these works is also highly important uh, within the within the program. Uh, and this program is also uh, uh, 
supported and supplemented with uh, integrated courses where all the, uh, the geophysical, the geological, and this, uh, uh, and this planning and management type of, of, uh, of knowledge should uh, be used uh, uh, in together, uh, usually in, in teamwork. Uh, so there is a, a project teamwork, which is an important part of the project of the of the course, and also uh, some other uh, integrated uh, courses like the core analysis course. Uh, so um, we have uh, student chapters. Uh, there's four uh, uh, student chapters of international um, societies. Uh, which are work on the uh, in, in the frame of the faculty. Uh, the Society of Petroleum Engineers is one of them, which is, uh, uh, offers programs for for petroleum engineers. First of all, the A8, AAPG. This is the uh, for the petroleum geologists. Uh, we also have a student chapter. Uh, the third one is the AAG. This is for uh, geophysics uh, uh, focus. Uh, first. Firstly, and the Society of Economic Geologists is the, is the fourth one, which also uh, functioning here. Uh, and uh, as I can uh, introduce one of our uh, panelists here, who will later tell about his uh, success, uh, is uh, Muhammad Nurali Akbar, uh, who has uh, was uh, uh, who has been uh, a, a highly important uh, uh, award. Uh, uh, of this, uh, which uh, last year, uh, which was uh, award was issued by the Society of, of Petroleum Engineers. So this is this is his picture uh, that that he receives it in Calgary, uh, Canada. Uh, this this award, and as you can see, he is now working at the mall uh, uh, company and uh, was graduated uh, last year uh, from the Petroleum Geoengineering Master Program. Uh, one more uh, interesting. Uh, uh, program which we are working on now, and I hope that it will be already available from the next academic year, uh, is uh, this Mobius uh, project, uh, which uh, uh, is designed uh, uh, among uh, between uh, four uh, Central Eastern European universities uh, to promote uh, the, the student mobilities uh, uh, between these uh, universities uh, using some uh, um, uh, mobility windows. So it means that the student starts uh, its uh, program at the home university, and then uh, whether in the second, whether whether in the third semester, uh, might switch uh, uh, to the uh, and, and to, to continue it uh, on the, one of these other universities uh, on a certain. Uh, disciplines uh, or on a certain uh, this master program and returning back uh, will continue uh, the, uh, the studies and these uh, four universities are uh, leading mining universities of Poland uh, the uh, the Hage High University from Krakow and uh, the uh, Wroclaw University of uh, Science and Technology uh, also from Poland and uh, the University of Zagreb from Croatia uh, uh, and, and, and and of course, of course, the the, the Bishkot University. Uh, well, uh, this is only a, a map of the world uh, showing that uh, where our uh, graduates uh, are working uh, uh, all over the world. Uh, and another uh, a map of the world. It's also that uh, we have started uh, the Sipinim Hungaricum. Uh, program in 2014 already, uh, and these are all the countries of the world uh, from which we have uh, or had uh, already students. So it, it seems that that the most part of the uh, of the world is already covered uh, by students uh, who has arrived from these countries and graduated or are studying here at our faculty. Uh, um, some main uh, industrial partners, uh, of course, there are many other industrial partners which uh, um, are local ones and not so uh, uh, obvious or uh, 
for uh, for the, for the students or, or, or from somebody outside of Europe. Uh, but these are uh, some some main industry partners which are might be uh, also known uh, in uh, in other parts of the world, uh, which we are uh, contacting with. Uh, and so, so this is from my uh, side. Thank you very much for your uh, um, attention. And here, uh, using these two uh, uh, this, uh, QR codes, uh, you can uh, uh, access to our web page, uh, the web page of the uh, Faculty of Earth Science and Engineering, and also uh, to the Facebook uh, side uh, of this uh, faculty. So this is in short uh, uh, a cross section about uh, our uh, activities uh, where we are waiting uh, for uh, for the newcomer uh, uh, freshman students uh, from from different countries uh, for our uh, English uh, master programs and uh, of course uh, I should mention also uh, that covering all these disciplines what I have mentioned. Uh, that these are also uh, included in the uh, profile uh, of our doctoral school, uh, uh, which uh, uh, are, are, uh, receives uh, uh, PhD students. Uh, and we also have uh, 10 uh, positions in together for the next year. Uh, uh, for, for, for PhD students. So all what I have uh, mentioned, uh, all these different uh, uh, disciplines, uh, these are also available uh, for research uh, for, uh, uh, for, for, for PhD studies as well, not only uh, on, on the master level. So thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, for this informative presentation. Actually, uh, it's fascinating, fascinating to see all these uh, uh, maps, you know, the hydrological maps, geotechnical maps, all the way through the presentation and the colors for the, you know, the topography, it was really nice. And I think uh, uh, if anyone interested in the master's degree uh, programs provided by the, by the Faculty of Earth Sciences, uh, that presentation included all, all the required information for that. So um, uh, after this presentation, I would like to give the mic to Patrick Valenci. He is a master degree student in the petroleum uh, engineering. And also he is the head of uh, Society of Petroleum Engineers, uh, uh, University of Michigan's uh, chapter. So uh, welcome uh, Patrick and uh, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, first, I would like to introduce myself a little and after that, I will share my uh, presentation. So as uh, uh, you said, I'm Patrick uh, from uh, University of Michigan Faculty of Earth Science and Engineering, and I'm a second year petroleum engineering student. And uh, I would like to tell you some words about some possibilities in our faculty, in our Petroleum Institute, uh, which is really nice opportunity for every student of our university. So now I would like to share you my uh, screen. I'm trying to. Can you see my screen now? Uh, no. now yes yes it says uh, yes sharing it's nice good okay thank you so uh, i would like to talk about this spe student chapter to you which is the society of petroleum engineers uh which was established in 1957 uh, in america and this is a really nice society to collect industrial people uh students and uh those who are uh, interested in petroleum related stuff. Uh, so this is this society is for these kind of people. I would like to tell you what is SPE, uh, how is it working on the University of Mishkold, and I would like to tell you some highlights 
in connection with international students and international student possibilities in our student chapter. So what is SPE? As I said, you it's a Society of Petroleum Engineers um, and uh, it has generally uh, 153,000 members in 143 countries as it has in Hungary as well. And in Hungary, just Mishkolc has a student chapter as this is passion in our uh, uh, country that we have this course. Um, you can learn, travel, research, network, and of course party as well if you are a member of our student chapter. If you study as a uh, geological engineer, a petroleum engineer, a petroleum geoengineer in our faculty, uh, you can be uh, interested in our chapter later on. So why somebody should join to our chapter if you are here, if you will be, I hope you will be here in our university, because it's free to everybody, you can only win with it, some experiences you can learn as well, and uh, the help is here in our hands, because uh, I can really say that not just in our, our student chapter, but in our faculty, all teachers and uh, students, Hungarians and international still are really helpful, so we are, we are like family. And uh, because there's really great connections in the industry, because you can go more international, of course, you would come to Hungary as international students, but you will have more possibilities to go more international in Europe, as you will get your residence permit, as I know, and after that you will have chance to go to every countries, for example, with us, uh, with our student chapter, to conferences, uh, because you can learn your English too, and uh, you won't, can see what others cannot. So if we are going more inside to the University of Mishkolceski student chapter, I would like to tell you some words about uh, what are our main uh, activities, why is it good to be a cha chapter member, and why is it good for international students as well. So I would like to, firstly, I would like to start with uh, the, uh, outside area, which is uh, the, the mother organization, the SPE International, which has really nice programs called SPE Connect, where you can connect with all members from SPE student chapters in the world. There's SPE Cares program, which uh, deals with some kind of uh, society problems. Uh, there are technical discussion communities. Our chapter and our faculty is uh, the in, in these communities, so we have really nice chances to get involved in researches. There's a mentoring program of SPE and there are some distinguished lecturers when really nice professionals come to our university or in this case, in this COVID times, it's online and we can hear about interesting topics to, to gain more knowledge. So from outside area, I can say that our student chapter uh, from the Petroleum Institute, we also joined these uh, programs of SP International. If we go more inside uh, into faculty and the Petroleum and Natural Gas Institute, I would say that uh, uh, these uh, SP possibilities that you will hear about later uh, are supported by Institute. I not just talk about uh, financial support, but uh, it's really nice support from teachers, professors, uh, from the knowledge side. Because uh, if, for example, if somebody would like to um, prepare for its uh, final thesis more earlier and before that would like to go to present conferences to make some papers, uh, you really have the chance to, uh, to meet those professors. They will be really supportive, I say it from experience. Um, we have really nice connections with the industry as well as uh, Dr. Madai uh, presented, uh, our student chapter is in connection with the MOL PLC, which is the Hungarian oil and gas uh, company. And uh, on the other hand, we have really nice international connections. I will uh, show you some pictures about that. So, uh, and, and, uh, and of course, uh, we try to manage some internal programs. So we have our new mentoring program for uh, first and second year bachelor students and first year master students, uh, where we try to help new students, newcomers, uh, international or Hungarians to be the 
real member of our university and our chapter and get more knowledge about everything that he or she wants. And we have a summer internship program where the more motivated people can join uh, and uh, let us know how is she or he uh, try to do her or his best in case of uh, getting more experience from the industry. Uh, go to more technical side. We have interesting technical programs. We, every year we, uh, in, in, we organize field trips, go to gas processing plants, uh, uh, we uh, visit petroleum rigs and all those facilities that, are, that can be found in petroleum industry. Uh, there are some research topics that we uh, try to manage to help in uh, for students. And uh, of course, we are going to a lot of conferences, student and more professional conferences, and we got to give a uh, uh, possibility to our uh, more motivated student uh, members to come with us to go and present their thoughts and uh, try to uh, get a better network from abroad. Yes, we have inform informal events as well. Uh, where we can get to know each other more. So as I said, in the Petroleum Institute, we can work as a real family. Uh, and uh, as in these times, it become more and more important. Uh, we have some personal skill improvement trainings, soft skill trainings, how to communicate, how to present, how to uh, uh, discuss some topics. It's really important in the industrial area. So we try to improve our members be better in these cases. And uh, yes, and I talked about the speak care programs. And, uh, and uh, I can say that in these problematic times, companies are really supportive too. So I would like to say thank you to them now as well, because uh, the mall, for example, try to support all uh, company uh, meetings, company uh, uh, lectures, uh, uh, conference attendance. So I can say it's really a whole, uh, package for petroleum uh, engineer student, petroleum geoengineer student, or sometimes some hydrogeologic engineer students are really interested in our chapter as well. So it's really nice package altogether. It improves all your uh, areas, which would be really in nice uh, if you will go to uh, the industry later on. And uh, at the end of my presentation, I just uh, would like to tell you some free words, really words about uh, uh, how we are, we are uh, uh, working, what happened in the previous year. So every year we try to uh, manage an SP introductory day. As you can see in this September, we just uh, managed it and wear some masks. Uh, everybody who joined uh, got an SP mask, mask, except the first people who you can see <laughs> because he wears a blue one, I don't know why. Uh, it was really nice. We uh, tried to involve every petroleum engineer student to become a member and we talked about the uh, main points of our chapter. Uh, every year we are going to a lot of conferences. As I said you, we give students member, student members possibilities to go to a uh, petrobol competition, which is a, a, a petroleum competition quiz. Uh, it uh, always uh, contains four plus one person and in our uh, every year in our group, uh, for example, in previous three years, there was minimum two international students and uh, we are really glad that they are here because they can really give a plus, a really big plus to our uh, uh, group. So it's really nice to see how uh, nations can work together in these comp competitions and of course before it uh, during the preparing period. As you can see on the picture, that guy uh, from Nigeria was with us. He presented his thoughts, his research, and uh, he got uh, an award as well during this uh, uh, present uh, SP present uh, competition, paper, sorry, paper competition. And uh, I didn't want to mention uh, 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 Muhammad Nurali Akbar, who will be a later presenter, uh, because he will be here and I hope that he will tell some words about his experiences and the fantastic results of uh, the SPE paper contest before in 2019. So uh, 
congrats because a lot of international students are really active and it's uh, fantastic to see how active you can be and how nice knowledge you have. Uh, we were in Zagreb, Croatia. We are also going to Krakow every year, uh, to Ukraine, Leoben, and sometimes we have some possibilities to go more abroad, like uh, to uh, to uh, Dubai or to the US. So there are really nice possibilities. And uh, every year we have company presentations from MOL, PLC, from other uh, drilling uh, contract uh, companies as well. And uh, not just about professional stuff, but about how you should apply for a company, some HR stuffs, um, uh, how to write a nice CV. So as I said, it's a whole package that you can bring to your later uh, work. Of course, field trips, uh, these are uh, always uh, really interesting. A lot of people uh, uh, si sign up to these uh, field trips. We're going to uh, visit some facilities from drilling production, reservoir engineering as well, and from the downstream industry too. And uh, I can say that we are, also, we are always going there 30, 40 people. And from these 30, 40 people, uh, half of it always uh, international students. And uh, as I said, you, it's really working as family. During bus trips, we are uh, making some quizzes together in English and it's uh, fun. Uh, we always like to be there. And uh, the companies are really supportive in these kind of field trips. So they uh, try to manage everything to us in Hungary and uh, the faculty as well. It's not so important for you how can you join, but uh, maybe later on if you will meet here in the University of Michigan's Petroleum Institute, uh, you can join. But if you will have any questions about Petroleum Institute or SPE, you can join uh, to our Facebook page and you can write us because we definitely will tell you some words about it uh, if you are interested in anything. So uh, be free to write us if you are interested. And one more thing to add, uh, our student chapter works really nicely because in the previous years, we always got awards of SP International, which is a fantastic result. In 2018, we got the SP Outstanding Chapter Award, which is the highest ranked award of all awards from SPE. Uh, we had the chance to go to Dallas, US, to the US, and uh, we got this award there with a fantastic conference experience. After that, later on, we got uh, uh, another nice award as well from SP. And now we are working on to get the outstanding award together with our team from international students and Hungarian students more uh, as well uh, to get this award again in 2021. So just for uh, final thoughts, I would like to say that I'm a member of uh, uh, a group uh, of master students, petroleum engineer master students, where uh, there are a lot of international students and it's a fantastic uh, place to be. Uh, everybody uh, uh, connects all people. Uh, we are trying to work together and everything. So I, 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 I just can say again that it's like family and thank you for kind attention. And uh, I, we are really waiting to meet you soon at University of Mishkols. And I hope that you will apply to our university and all the best for you. Thank you for the audition attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Patrick, for this interesting presentation. Actually, I, I really like it. And uh, it's a pity that I cannot join the Society of Petroleum Engineers <laughs> and, you know, enjoy all these uh, lovely, informative events. Um, if you would uh, like to, uh, we are waiting for you. <laughs> Because petroleum industry needs economists as well. Oh, that's that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect for me. Would love to do that. Um, so uh, I just want to remind you that there is a Q and A section uh, on the screen. That whenever you have any questions, you can just write your question, and uh, uh, hopefully you, we will uh, get you your uh, your answer shortly. Um, the, after this uh, lovely presentation about the Society of Petroleum Engineers, 
I would like to introduce Florence uh, Gamal. She's a um, uh, master's degree student at the Faculty of Earth Sciences and Engineering, and she's also the faculty coordinator at the International uh, um, uh, Students Alumni Board. Um, thank you, Florence, for uh, your efforts in you know organizing this session, and. Uh, I think you have something for us. Uh, thank you, Deborah, for your presentation as well and for your lovely words. And for everybody, as Deborah introduced me, I'm Florence and uh, I'm a second year master's student in air science and engineering. I'm studying petroleum engineering especially. And besides, I am um, faculty coordinator of air science and engineering. So I will not make any presentation because I know uh, it's time for fun a little bit. I was just trying to show you that our life in Mishkos is not just about the academic part or the curriculum part and we are just studying. Yeah, I know we are engineering and we have a tough life, but as well, uh, we can enjoy our life here in Mishkos and we have many events and programs we can do. Uh, we can make parties or fashion show or sports day. So I will not talk about that. I will just show you a short, very short video. And this video will show um, like shortly how our life in Mishpul is going on. And I hope you will enjoy that. <laughs> While Florence uh, share her screen, <laughs> you you must share your screen to show us the video. Uh, yes, to mention that unfortunately this year because of COVID and the situation, the whole situation, we didn't get the chance to have uh, as many, uh, let's say parties or activities around the university. So I hope that maybe next semester and next year, when uh, the newcomers, the new colleagues join us, we will have uh, the time and the opportunity to, to organize uh, as many activities as we can uh, by the faculty itself, or at least by, uh, by our side in the International Students uh, Alumni Board. Florence, share screen. No, yes, that's perfect. But uh, I think you need to unmute yourself. I don't know. Can you see it now? Yes, yes. But uh, I think you need to unmute yourself because we cannot hear. Okay. Yes. What about now? So, no problem, uh, technology, no problem. <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Florence, for sharing this video. Uh, thank you, Muhammad. And uh, I just wanted to show how can we exchange the food, the language, the life, the habits and customs between the students. And we're just not sharing the studying room. Now we can share a lot of things and we can enjoy our life here. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So uh, by mentioning 
exchanging stuff and food. Uh, now we are planning at the university to have a international uh, food contest soon. So uh, if you are interested in such events, I think you can follow us on the page, the international students of the University of Mishputs. We will have a contest this year. Yes, because of COVID, we will not get the chance to taste food or uh, share it, but at least we will have a good pictures and recipes. And uh, as I said, again, hopefully next semester or next year, we will be all uh, available together without uh, our masks and without the social distancing and be able to share uh, more experiences like this. So now I uh, would like to uh, to move the mic to uh, Muhammad Noor Ali Akbar. He's an alumni uh, 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 engineer, graduated last year from the University of Mishkuls. Uh, Muhammad? All right, I'm here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, what happened with my camera? It's there, perfect. <laughs> It's too much shiny. <laughs> <laughs> it's for stars, you know? Stars are always shiny. Okay, actually, thanks a lot for uh, organizers, Mohamed Jaber, and also Professor Ferenc Made, who already emailed me personally uh, several days ago to join this meeting. I'm so honored to be here. And I'm so happy as well that Fer Professor Ferenc Madai and uh, already uh, helped me a lot during my study in Mishkosh. I met him busy a lot with uh, a lot of stuff, including uh, when I was uh, in Mishkosh, changing the program and so on. But so far, actually, uh, I don't know how long I should speak here because I can't speak more than two hours. <laughs> So practically, uh, living in Mishkot was uh, incredible for my experience, personal experience, because uh, this is the first time I was touching the snow. I traveled from far away in the far east of Asia, from Indonesia, and I arrived in Mishkot. It was in the in the 4th of September, so I remember that one. And it was remarkable a journey for me because I never expected that I can uh, reach a lot of milestones during my study in Mishkosh. Practically, I love everything in Mishkosh. I love the, especially for the faculty. I love the peoples. I love the environment. I love the supporting uh, faculty as well during my study. So everything was incredible. Maybe some of you was mentioning me about my uh, uh, previous performance in SPE, in the EAGE, and also some of the conferences that I joined. But actually, I also never expected that I can reach this, uh, this uh, milestone. But so far, yeah, uh, most of this achievement was supported a lot with the organization from the institution, from the university, even for the advisory, the funding, the idea. And also I, I, I want to thanks to Patrick. He was the president of the SPE in the University of Mishkos. He was also supporting us when we were in the Zagreb in 2019 and also in Krakow for the European SPE East Midwest. It was so incredible uh, moment. Without uh, his facility as well, maybe I couldn't uh, reach uh, some awards uh, last year in, in the SPE contest. So actually, uh, I don't have slides to be shared, but maybe I can share some of uh, uh, information that I received uh, when I was uh, uh, studying in Mishkoch. It's uh, actually posted in uh, my uh, LinkedIn. So uh, in my LinkedIn, I already featured all of my uh, uh, milestones, let's say. And uh, here's, I really like the University of Mishkoch as well, try to write uh, about this history. So, 
I'm really appreciate it, and it's uh, remind me as well that I have to 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 give the best as well during my study in Mishkols. So I put uh, these pictures in my cover page because this is one of the uh, it's a uh, full of memory during my study in Mishkols. So I, I put in the feature in here how was I I did some of the competitions, the history. Actually, I'm starting my competition. It was in Poland, 2018. I remember Professor Ferenc Madai supporting me uh, to get the, the support for the uh, conference in from the University, University of Silesia. It was in Istebna. I presented my first paper there. And yeah, I, I, I got the best paper there. And I, ne I never expected because it was uh, a lot of uh, high quality presentation from there. So after that, I joined some uh, ISA, uh, some conference like ISA, it's a Hungarian earth science uh, conferences. It's uh, For normally, young scientists. Yeah, uh, it's every year. And also in another uh, year in March, four to seven March that I mentioned, it's uh, uh, our victory uh, for the Petro uh, tournament. We were the first winner. I remember I was also in the final, uh, in the semifinal with with the uh, with the team A of of, of Mishkos, uh, and uh, we were in the final and uh, facing the the University of Zagreb at that time. Unfortunately, we won as well uh, for the first winners. I have also some uh, competitions uh, in. I also published one paper in uh, Major Geophysicus uh, journals. My paper was chosen as the best article of the year. And also this is the, 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 the East Midwest competitions. It was all in April 2019. And yeah, this is also uh, the, the best paper was chosen and I was chosen for the, the European uh, representative for the SPE World Championship. So the final, we, I, I, yeah, uh, I, I, I got a, I got a, the third winner there. The first winner was coming from Japan University. It was uh, Kyushu University, if I'm not wrong, for the first uh, stage. The second stage was, uh, uh, was uh, the winner was from University of Stanford, from USA, and the third one we are from the University of Michigan, and I, I was so proud. I brought the University of Michigan name, uh, alma mater, and also uh, bring a university of, as a representative of European region. And the, my last uh, uh, achievement uh, is also related with my last paper, which published in, in Hungary before I went home. And uh, I'm so happy as well that uh, this paper was chosen as the best uh, article in Hungary. So actually, I can say that all of these influences is uh, really, really uh, critical with the University of Michigan, and I'm so happy being a, a being an alumni uh, of the University of Michigan, and I always proud to bring this uh, alumni name uh, in uh, around the world. So I think uh, I don't have uh, anything to speak. Uh, what I want to tell you for the uh, current student of the University of Miss Golf and also the candidates who want to apply in the University of Miss Coach. I just want to tell you that uh, love everything you have in the university, love what you are studying now, because uh, what inspired me so far when why I can reach uh, this milestone because I love what I'm doing. So that's only the message for me. Uh, everything uh, coming from University of Michigan, I will try to support. If you need some information, a story, or uh, any kind related about research in earth science, especially of petroleum geoscience, uh, related with petrophysics, uh, related with the petroleum engineering, I'm so happy to discuss. Uh, if you are also interested to do some collaborating research, I'm also happy to to, to collaborate with you. As long as we have the same vision and missions, and I think it uh, will be easy to reach. 
Okay, that's all from me. I give it back to Jaber. Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you, Muhammad, for this. Uh, you know, it's 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 nice to have the all these uh, pictures and uh, information on your profile in on LinkedIn. You know, to have a successful uh, university life and research. I would say it, it's, it is very powerful and uh, also inspiring for uh, those who are interested in applying for our university. And uh, now I will move it to Imad. Uh, he is a PhD student at the Faculty of Earth Sciences. So, yes. Hello, Gaber. Hello. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share my screen now. Hello everyone. This is a math PhD student at Geophysics Department, Mesh College University. First of all, I would thank all of my uh, professor, they teach us and my colleagues as well. And um, I will talk like about the adventure, like for three years I'm here. And now let's start. First, I earned my master's degree in petroleum geoengineering. Uh, on 2019 and then awarded the scholarship of Christian Young people and I'm uh, doing my PhD for the second year successfully applied. Here are the classmates you can see uh, from all of the world and it helped us to join this class with a lot of multicultural people like guys from Ecuador, from Brazil, uh, from Algeria, Nigeria, Pakistani, and Indonesia, Akbar is, was my classmate. So <laughs> I'm happy to see this picture, Emma. Thanks for showing this one. <laughs> and the one also in Geo informed, like the our geoengineering class, it was like first uh, program. We are uh, award the first program of petroleum geoengineering. And it was like, I was happy to join this class and we, uh, it's, it's mixed it with the industrial and you got knowledge from a uh, career, you are working a lot. And at the end, I will show you the opportunity you can get it uh, after you studied master degree here in Schultz University. So as Professor, uh, Professor Franz Madai mentioned about the petroleum geoengineering, we deal with geology, uh, geophysics and petrophysics and how to uh, connect all of this science to work in one project. And then I will move to activity, like our activity life here during two, day, uh, two years. Uh, uh, you can see the picture, I will use the laser. All right, wait. Okay, you can like we uh, celebrate birthday, we're going hiking, we play, actually we, uh, I'm learning to play volleyball here. Good friends from all of the world playing table tennis because the university offer you like to play and sports facilities. Then I will move to the second part, uh, the work and internship. Um, here you can see the uh, our work in IBA competition in 2018 and here the class and my internship in life 3D uh, ex uh, life exploration project seismic and here also helping in the project work and this is our memory for the last lecture. So how to end the, the, the study? We uh, the University of Mishkolets uh, offer you to join IBA competition. It was uh, sponsored by, uh, by AABG. And you are, when you finished, you are able to have a future career. You have to decide like which part you are choice, like the industrial board, oil and gas, or BHD, doing BHD. Uh, because I'm doing PhD now, uh, I will show you how to uh, how it's work here in Mishkolts University. So you have like eight semesters. Each semester you have uh, obligatory tasks you have to finish. 
first semester you have like subject elective courses and research seminar report and then in second in second semester you have uh, annual report you have the same subject you pick when you are able to finalize the your two years you are able to get like 120 credit and that gives you opportunity to complete your study first what what the task you are uh, I will show you the task you have to submit it to complete your PhD. So the task like you have first to choose to give the research plan and then you are going to throw Neptune system and pick uh, the subject and then you are working on your plan and you participate in the conferences and you have to publish paper. And second year also like you have to re uh, register like two subjects and also work on your plan BHD report and publish and participate in the conferences. And for the third semester also the same fourth semester you have to have like complex exam when you are able to fin finalize this complex exam you are able to finish your BHD in, and you are jumped to fifth semester. Unfortunately if you are failed in the second year you are not able to finalize your phd and here also for fifth and sixth semester you don't have the line of the subject but you have like to work hard to have like five hypotheses new uh new novel uh, novelty and new uh, research topics and then uh you are in uh, seventh semester and eighth semester you are able to finalize your phd as well so that's the end of my presentation and feel free to contact anytime through the social media and thank you so much thank you matt for for the information about the uh, the process for phd students uh, at the university of Mishkuls. um okay. now i would like to move the, the microphone to yetspel Yetzbel, she is uh, the ambassador. Uh, she served as an ambassador of the international student or, or uh, for the University of Mishkuls. And she is also a PhD student uh, specialized in hydrogeological engineering, as I remember. Yes, Yetzbel, what do, what do you think? <laughs> I can't remember sp specifically what was your specialization. Sorry if I'm mistaken. But um, I, I will move the mic to you now. If you can introduce us to yourself. You are muted, Isabel. Uh, just unmute, unmute yourself. Ah, uh, we cannot hear you. You are your mic is muted. Just please uh, find the mic on the left corner. Down. And just unmute yourself. Okay. Good. Yes. Now. Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, okay. Um, first, um, I would like to present myself. Um, I'm coming from Ecuador. I arrived to Hungary on 2017 to study the master program of hydrogeology. Uh, it uh, become a nice experience, not only uh, in uh, the professional aspect, but in the personal too. When you arrive to a new country, into Europe, um, you have more opportunities to share experience with people from different parts of the world and to enrich you uh, in different ways of the life. Uh, the university become a nice support into the field what I decide to study. 
Um, and now I decide to stay longer here to enrich more my knowledge. I subscribe myself to the hydrogeology um, doctoral program. Nowadays, I'm finishing my first year. I already did the process uh, that Emad shared with us before. Um, and I hope everyone who is listen, listening to us in this moment found interesting all the information that the previous presenters shared with them. And you found interesting to come to this small city, which has a lot of things to offer to you. Um, and I will be glad to listen from someone that they decide to take into account the University of Michigan to join for the air science programs. And that's that's all. Thank you, Yetzel, for for this uh, short introduction. Our prestigious yeah. ambassador of the Faculty of Air Sciences. <laughs> so, I guess for now. Uh, Florence just told me that she she has another uh, video, but before she she uh, play the video, there is a question from uh, Santos. He is from Angola, or or she? Forgive me because I I can't recognize the name. And um, the question is about job prospects for international students in the oil industry. So. Professor Madai, maybe you can uh, give us a slight uh, information about the job uh, prospects or internships in oil industry. Well, uh, about the job uh, uh, perspectives, uh, well, we are trying to to. This is why we we, are, we are try to involve uh, those uh, uh, pre previous students who has succeeded. Uh, uh, to, uh, to 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 be employed in in, in, in leading uh, these companies uh, as uh, uh, Mohammed Nur Ali Akbar uh, has also one, one was was one of these and uh, and also I think uh, the uh, Patrick uh, has also uh, gave a, a kind uh, good perspective uh, uh, that what uh, the petroleum engineer uh, ring students uh, later uh, can uh, can achieve and also uh, I see that uh, Zartasha uh, uh, is also would be here perhaps she also will tell something about this uh, concerning the uh, uh, internships uh, uh, well uh, the, the each of these programs uh, 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 of these master programs what I have mentioned uh, these are uh, master programs starting in September and for four uh, semesters. Uh, and it means that uh, uh, between the first and second year, uh, uh, there should be at, uh, 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 an internship, uh, preferably uh, uh, to be completed uh, at uh, uh, some companies. Uh, and uh, the length of this internship, it should be as minimum four weeks. Uh, so this is a this is a compulsory uh, uh, part uh, of uh, the internship as a compulsory part of the uh, of, of the program, uh, and everybody should uh, complete uh, it. And uh, so it is it is not an easy uh, uh, task uh, in each year uh, to to find uh, uh, receiving companies uh, uh, who receives. Uh, 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 students, uh, international students, uh, not speaking practically Hungarian, uh, but speaking only uh, in English uh, as, a, as a common language uh, uh, with, the, uh, with the hosts. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, well, uh, it's, uh, we, we, we can manage, uh, we could manage uh, this uh, important and, uh, and uh, difficult ta uh, task. Uh, in each year. Uh, uh, this year, uh, uh, this summer, it was a, a, a rather specific one uh, because of the virus uh, uh, this, uh, restrictions. Uh, and most of the, our students completed uh, the internships, uh, or many of our students com completed the internships uh, at uh, the 
faculty uh, at the, the different laboratories uh, of the uh, departments. Uh, and uh, it seems that it also has it, it, its advantage uh, because, uh, for example, the earth science engineer uh, ring uh, students on the second year, uh, uh, all of them has uh, uh, completed uh, at the uh, a student research work, uh, uh, which was uh, presented uh, in last Friday in uh, the in the, uh, the faculty uh, student research work uh, conference. Um, so, uh, whether at the university, whether at the uh, uh, the, the companies, uh, but uh, uh, so we offer these uh, opportunities for, uh, for for the students for internships. Okay. Thank you, Professor, for, for the for the answer about this uh, issue. Um, Florence, is your video ready? Yes, uh, it's just a short video to show the students uh, who are studying here in Michigan the life and the opportunities they can get. Uh, just a moment. Can you see it now? No, because uh, you didn't share your screen. Okay. And now? Yes. Okay. something more challenging I had to go for some challenging course. So when I had to make the decision of coming to Hungary, I, I practically looked up for oh, where can I get something? Where can I get something? No, oh, University of Michigan, petroleum engineering. Computer science and engineering. Uh, it, is, it offers uh, such kind of master programs. Uh, for the international students, which are offered uh, in, within Hungary only here, as our faculty. The subjects are, are good, the courses are really interesting, and we had team trains, we had like laboratory work, so it's not courses that just lecture, lecture. It was variated, so yeah, it's okay, it's really interesting. Like, I know it's something that's so good to me. So we don't work from what we really understand them. So that is where the challenging aspects comes in now. Hungary has uh, one of the best programs about oil. So that's the main goal for leaving my country, leaving my family, and coming here for a uh, country that I don't know the language. Uh, just to learn more about the program that I always wanted to be. In the first semester, uh, the university staff already took us to see websites of companies. They already talk about internships. So I see that they are pushing us to a better future than I would have uh, in my country. Most of the students uh, really uh, appreciate uh, this course, uh, uh, really appreciate to, uh, to study uh, in Hungary, study in Europe. And, uh, and, and they are also uh, and they are uh, highly motivated. So my bachelor degree in my country, I have learned a lot. So, you know, academic things, you know, paper things. But when I am here and I can learn about the practical skills and that's it, and preserving it for my future career, always this experience is a positive. Always. From the, the university studying in different language, other country, a master which I cannot find in my country. All these are positive things. All of them are part of something open. And on the other hand, the people that you met here, my classmates are from Hungary, from Mongolia, from Algeria, from Mexico, from Pakistan. Even you know that the people they have different cultures, they think in different ways. 
So those who are genetically taking different ways and best approaches are different. So this is a good mixture. The thing that I like the most is just the change of environment. Like leaving my country and coming to another country is out of my comfort zone. Getting to know people from all around the world that I didn't know about it. And that's the best part. Getting to getting close to new culture and then new ways of thinking about seeing life. After two years, when you get a good level of diploma, the high level diploma, it's a European diploma, so I can recommend it to, to many students. And I am I am already recommending, I am helping my friends to come here. Can we offer uh, And I can only promise that the that, uh, payments that uh, are to organize. Uh, the, the programs uh, these programs offered uh, by our faculty uh, in the next year uh, in the same way or perhaps even even better as uh, as for as for this year and uh, we will uh, uh, try to to achieve uh, this uh, target. I strongly recommend that to study here. Uh, because I think the University of Michigan is beautiful and um, it's peaceful actually. So that's all from my side. Thank you, Florence. And uh, now, uh, Dr. Indre Nadashi. Assistant lecturer uh, from the department of geophysics would like to talk about uh, the department to us. So, uh, Doctor, uh, the mic was you. Florence, does please uh, stop sharing the screen. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Mohammed. Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Andra Nadashi, and thanks for uh, for inviting me to this uh, event and. Uh, uh, sorry for being late. I, I had another uh, online meeting in the afternoon, but uh, it was a pleasure for me to to hear the last uh, four and four or five uh, presentation, which were very uh, impressive and and for me uh, as a, not an outsider, it was also very interesting. Um, I also have a short. Uh, uh, PPT, if I can share, but uh, I'm sure that my presentation won't won't be so uh, colorful as uh, uh, the students uh, uh, and the PhD researchers uh, had. But um, uh, can you see it? now yes 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 so um as a young researcher and lecturer at the uh, institute of geophysics and geoinformatics uh, i can say that uh, if you choose uh, the university of Mishkols, you uh, you can get involved to a, a course which is uh, worldwide and uh, uh, recognized, and uh, Mishkols is really on the on the map of the the European and also the, the worldwide uh, geophysics uh, education sites. Uh, uh, here, uh, some. Uh, here are the, the institutional structure of the university or of the faculty, but probably you already heard some presentation about that. Um, so our institute, uh, geophysics and geoinformatics, uh, uh, has two departments, the department of geodesy and mine surveying and the department of geophysics. Uh, the first one, the geodesy department, deals with mostly with the uh, GIS-related task, and they uh, take uh, part in the in the basic uh, 
teaching at the bachelor level, uh, geodesy, geoinformatics, and so on. And uh, what I uh, uh, more would like to, to, to talk is the Department of Geophysics. Uh, right now, I'm uh, I'm sitting in the lecture room of the Department of Geophysics, and behind my back is the the Ötvös torsion balance, with, which is also in the in the logo of the department. Uh, yes, so I will talk about it uh, later. So. Uh, uh, geophysical education has also uh, a tradition at the University of Mishkots. Uh, almost 70 years old is the Department of Geophysics, but earlier there were also geophysical uh, teaching at our university. Some famous professors uh, uh, were a member of, of our department. Uh, uh, Kantas, Csókás, uh, Steiner, Takács, and so on. And uh, uh, here you can see some basic details. I don't want to talk about it, uh, it more. Uh, the recent stuff is, is uh, it also changes. Uh, but uh, yeah, Professor Sabu is right now the uh, director of institute and we have uh, uh, maybe more than PhD students I haven't counted it it was uh, but uh, you saw uh, Emma's pre presentation here and uh, we also have first year ma uh, PhD students yes um, our instrument uh, geophysical instruments is very very uh, so it's a we have a well equipped uh, uh, instrument uh, we almost have uh, the we have almost the the all the uh, geophysical tools modern geophysical tools what you can uh, uh, read about in, in uh, geophysical literature and still uh, is in progress to to purchase uh, for example uh, frequency sounding EM uh, tools and uh, NMR and so on uh, we have gravimeter magnetometer uh, DC geoelectric EM uh, and so on. This is a almost full list. Uh, Georadar. Yes, and uh, what we have to mention is the Ötvös torsion balance, which uh, is historically very significant because uh, basically this was uh, the first uh, developed uh, applied geophysical tool. Of course, earlier we could we could measure the magnetic field and uh, and temperature, for example, in the 19th century. But in the beginning of the uh, 20th century, uh, the Hungarian physicist uh, Lorand Ötvös invented uh, and and built this uh, torsion balance, which was uh, the first gravity tool which is uh, uh, good, uh, this, which is sensitive to un, uh, uh, density uh, anomalies under the surface. And it, it's a very accurate uh, measurement. It's still very accurate. And one original uh, 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 piece of it is here behind my back. So uh, you can learn about it more. We have a rock physical uh, developed rock physical laboratory when where we can uh, measure some uh, uh, important uh, rock physical parameters e even in in uh, 
in uh, under high pressure so we we simulate the uh, great depth with this triaxial cell so on on core samples and it, it helps the the interpretation of uh, uh, well logging and seismic uh, sections. Uh, uh, many of you were talking about uh, before me about the student activities uh, here at the at the faculty. So you heard from from Patrick the SPE uh, student chapter and uh, Oli uh, was talking about the, the APG, IBE, uh, and other student competitions and the activities which are uh, waiting for you. Uh, basically, here is a, uh, an example. This, this poster was uh, uh, brought to, to Paris. Uh, few years ago, which uh, presents uh, the EAG student chapter uh, here. So, and still, uh, uh, there are many possibilities in the framework of EAG as well. So if you want, uh, uh, I, if you have questions, I can, I can, uh, I can tell you more about it. And uh, and uh, follow us on, on uh, social media. At our department, there are uh, professional softwares from Schlumberger Kingdom for oil field geophysics or hydrocarbon geophysics. Um, and also, uh, uh, that you can choose the Petroleum Geoscience Engineering Master's course, but also the Earth Science uh, engineering master course, uh, which are more general, but also contains uh, various fields of geophysics. And the field work, uh, some pictures about it. So, uh, of course, our department uh, can operate uh, in uh, shallow exploration. So we have uh, refraction seismic, uh, GPR, uh, DC geoelectric for, for shallow uh, explorations. Uh, and the students can also take part in these uh, real uh, uh, explorations. Here are some uh, examples on the uh, near surface results. Um, for example, archaeological uh, exploration in the, the right side or uh, environmental uh, applications. So uh, that was it. Uh, so I recommend you to to come here and study Mishkolts uh, geophysics. And uh, I'm uh, here to answer your questions if, if you have. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Andre, for this uh, presentation. I remember uh, in our first uh, meeting for the alumni board, uh, Florence told me that uh, the students in the Faculty of Earth Sciences are always busy between uh, lectures, exams, uh, you know, contests and all, all those activities. And I believe now that uh, I think it's worth it <laughs> to be busy all the time with, with all these activities and uh, practical uh, lectures and parts around the university and the country and uh, also around the world, which is, which is really perfect. And it will be a very good opportunity for those uh, who apply for the faculty to join and enjoy those benefits of studying at the University of uh, Mishkult. Uh, thank you again, uh, Dr. Andre. And uh, now we we are uh, we will have three uh, alumni who will talk about their life after graduation and about their work. Uh, 
uh, experience. Uh, I think I will start with Zartasha. Forgive me if my spelling is wrong, uh, but hopefully no, it's right. That's correct. Oh, okay, you. great. So hopefully you all can hear me properly. So hi everyone. And uh, it's really good to see again some of my old colleagues and uh, thank you professor for inviting me for this event. And it was uh, really great to see you again. And uh, I hope all of you and uh, your family is well with this current pandemic situation. Um, so I will start with a little bit of introduction about myself. So I am Zartasha and uh, I am originally from Pakistan. Uh, currently I am working as a reservoir uh, geologist with Mol Hungarian Oil and Gas Company. Uh, so almost three years back I was like you uh, in 2017. Uh, well in the beginning um, I was just thinking when I was applying for this scholarship like there were quite a lot of uncertainties in my mind, especially, uh, you know, when it's your first uh, international travel and uh, um, you have a lot of um, confusions and uncertainties regarding the culture. Uh, but after spending three years here in Hungary, um, I, can, I can say that uh, it was the best time of my life so far um, because I came from very different culture and, uh, um, when I came here, not only my academic staff, but also here my uh, colleagues at my company are really helping and they are uh, really ready to support you in each part of your life. Uh, and for my university, I would uh, more, more focus on the personal things because I think all of my colleagues uh, told you about a lot of academic things and also the extracurricular activities. Um, the uh, two things which I like about uh, my university is uh, uh, the first thing is uh, they have a very strong uh, academic, uh, industrial cooperation. Uh, because of that reason, I was very lucky that I did my master's thesis with the oil and gas company. And uh, uh, the second thing is uh, the diversity, which I really like because uh, if you want um, to grow like for your personal skills or soft skills it's very important for you to uh, interact with people and cultures which are very different from your culture so it will broaden up your vision your thinking and uh, it will help your communication skills which will later on really help you in your professional life no matter wherever you go so uh, that was the thing and i think our class like the petroleum geoengineering class um, first of all, it was a very unique combination, uh, which I found very rare in the world, like combining geoscience with petroleum engineering. And that's very ideal if you want to pursue your career, particularly in petroleum or oil and gas, because you have the solid base of both sides, petroleum engineering and geoscience. Uh, so you will be able to work very effectively. Um, and uh, so our class was uh, from almost all around the world and I believe that it was the most diverse uh, group uh, at that time. So I think I learned a lot about uh, different cultures and it really helped me to communicate effectively. Uh, I don't know like what to say, but I saw like some questions uh, from people regarding the job opportunities. Uh, so if you are looking, uh, I have a tip for you. So if you are looking for jobs in Hungary, so I will suggest you that when, as soon as you arrive in Hungary, you should enroll yourself in a language course because in all of the uh, companies, um, Hungarian is the official language. So all the documentation and communication is done in Hungarian. So it's a tip from my side uh, that if you want to, uh, if you see yourself or if you are planning to stay longer in Hungary, so then you should um, enroll yourself right from the beginning because um, as far as my experience, Hungarian is not a very easy language. So you will suffer a lot and uh, it will take a long time. So it will be good for you if you just start earlier at your 
studies uh, because in two years then you will have be i think uh, capable enough to uh, speak um, i mean at least at big, big near level and then you will have much more job opportunities to join different organizations so that was the tip from my side and uh, so that's all and uh, good luck thank to you. all of you Zartasha, thank and you very much see you uh, soon bye Thank you. So, uh, in mentioning of the language, uh, starting from this year, students who uh, who are enrolled in the master degree programs are uh, obliged to attend two Hungarian language courses, one in the first semester and the other in the second semester. And it is obligatory to uh, pass the two uh, subjects to be able to uh, get your scholarship in the second year. So I think, yes, some people uh, said before that maybe this is a tough uh, decision to uh, force this, enforce the students to learn Hungarian, but believe me, as uh, Zartasha said, it is, it is, it is uh, needed, uh, uh, you know, very, very needed, uh, especially if you are studying in northern part of uh, in Hungary. Uh, you will need Hungarian language. And uh, I hope that I am doing good <laughs> at that part too. So I would like to move to uh, Mustahsan tribe. Uh, if you would like to tell us a few words about your uh, experience and uh, life in Hungary. So now we are almost finished. We have 10 minutes, so hopefully it will be uh, enough for both of you to talk. Hello, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you and see you. Okay, Love I hope you'll be, you'll be hearing me. Okay, so my name is Mustasen Shweb, and uh, I come from Pakistan. I was student there from 2016 to 2018 in the Faculty of Arts and Engineering. Uh, it was such a great time. I really missed that, even till now. Uh, I got my specialization in geological engineering. Uh, it was such a great experience, really, to to be there to uh, to learn new things. Uh, I mean, the the most the thing I liked most about the University of Michigan was about their diverse uh, course contents, and they put a lot of emphasis on the exploration side of geology. And they really teach some specialized courses. I don't think maybe uh, most of university teaches those courses uh, like geochemical prospecting, uh, legal studies of mining, uh, geological and, ge and geophysical interpretation. These are very specialized courses. And that's a, that was such a great thing. That was a huge for me uh, because I learned a lot, uh, really a lot. And also the faculty and our department also helped us to land internships. I did two internships in Hungary. One was in Mo, and the other was in the Geological and Geophysical Institute of Hungary. And that was possible just because of the support from our faculty. They really helped us to just find those internships. And again, there was another very great experience just working for uh, in, in a national institute for over six weeks. Uh, it, was, it was such a great thing. And one more thing I will, uh, will point out is that was unique for me was in most of the countries, including my country, Pakistan, they put a lot of focus on just either you fail the exam or you pass the exam. But the system we had in Hungary was really unique. It was like you can have, you have three attempts to pass the final exam. And the, all the focus is on the learning. It's not about the passing or failing the exam. And that was a really uh, very good thing for me. I mean, if you fail one, if you fail once, uh, you learn, you learn, you read again, you read over and over, and you can you come up better next time with a, with a lot of preparation. And mean, meanwhile, your uh, knowledge is is, uh, is is built huge. And currently, I'm working uh, as an assistant director for the Ministry of Energy in Geological Survey of Pakistan. Uh, again, I will say it was not an easy job to land. Uh, I mean, just top of 0.01% people landed this job. And I will, I'm will. i honored to, to give credit to my faculty of uh, my, my department in the University of Michigan. 
because I think it was possible because uh, because of those my all my professors and my teachers uh, because they taught us a lot, uh, believe me, a lot, and a lot of good stuff. Uh, that was I was able to 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 achieve this thing. Um, and yes, I will I will highly recommend this department, this university, to all new coming students. Uh, they must go for uh, for for especially for for our department uh, in earth science and engineering. It's highly recommended, and I'm really glad to be part of it. Um, thank you. Yeah, that's what that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Mustasan, for those kind words. And finally, I would like to uh, give the mic to uh, Kumpilig. Sorry, I'm I'm really sorry if I'm mistaken with the. With the pronunciation, uh, we have we have nearly five minutes. Gombele Gambat. Yeah, um, can you hear me, guys? Yeah. No. Yes. Is it even better now? Yes. Perfect. Cool. Okay. My name is Gombele Gambat. Um, I'm from Mongolia. I. Um, I attended the university from 2016 to 2018. I was a uh, classmate to Mustafsan Schweb, and uh, uh, we were classmates, and he was a really good one. I think he graduated with the golden medal, I think, uh, because uh, the way he uh, finished the university, I think. Um, I'd like to mention that. And uh, so, and for introduction, my for myself is. Uh, um, I started working as a geologist from 2011, and uh, when I was in uh, university, I, was, I had a little bit of experience in the geology. But what I really wanted to uh, highlight for the University, uh, university of Michigan is that uh, they really um, have experienced uh, in uh, geophysics, I think. And um, I think Andrew uh, Nadashi, uh, I just Explain, explain most of it, but uh, from perspective of a geologist, um, we need to understand the geophysics a little bit more. And most of the time, we just need to understand like a little bit reading of the results, I think. But in University of Michigan, they even teach you how to write their own codes to, uh, to you know, uh, interpret the data. So, these special areas, how do you, it's very important. So they teach you how to write a code, how to write a program for specific uh, areas for each uh, uh, experience, I think. And that mm, taught me very well, I think, and that made me a really uh, look at myself at a, a little bit different person and uh, as a for geologist, uh, geologist and I think that was a really good highlight. And as a for uh, experience for living in the in the uh, Michigan city was for me it was a really good um, balance where you could be self isolate yourself and just relax and be quiet. At the same time, you can have lots of people, just lots of new uh, diversity of the students and just have fun and enjoy yourself with these people. And these things are really um, uh, made, made a really good memories of the University, University of Michigan. Um, right now I'm working as a geologist in um, Adam Smith International Mongolia. This company is, uh, uh, is just um, uh, developing new type, uh, new um, ways to other countries, uh, investors to just uh, drive them, drive the investors to the Mongolia. And I'm working as a geologist in this company. And without uh, getting experience from the University of Michigan, I think I wouldn't be here uh, standing as a geologist in this company. And this would really help me a lot. And um, you know, I think it was a really good big step for myself uh, by attending this university. And that is it for myself. 
thank you Jay. thank you thank you very much for for this uh, lovely speech you know we are we are enjoying the book mountains these days for for hiking i think you missed that as well <laughs> so yeah i guess we are reaching the end of this uh, very fruitful session uh, thanks everyone for attending this uh, meeting. Uh, thanks for the panelists for this uh, these lovely presentations, videos, and uh, uh, sharing experiences about the Faculty of Earth Sciences and Engineering. Hopefully next year we will meet our new colleagues and uh, enjoy the life uh, safely and healthy without the uh, situation of COVID-19. So uh, thank you, uh, everyone, and uh, have a nice evening. Thank you, Muhammad, for this session, and thank you for everybody. Thank you. Thank you. It was it was excellent. Uh, also, thank you for, for for all of all of these participants, it, and it was very nice to see you again. Okay, thanks a lot. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye.